Hello there, this is Balu speaking. My team and I have created some fantastic videos that we would love for you to check out. If you enjoy them, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give us a follow on all our social media platforms and show your support by giving us a like. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Oh, do you know why regular brushing is crucial for your German Shepherd? A simple question that carries with it a wealth of information. German Shepherds with their double coats are notorious shedders. Regular brushing dramatically reduces the loose hair that ends up around your home, a win-win situation for both you and your furry friend. But shedding management is just the tip of the iceberg. Brushing is also your first line of defense against tangles and mats, especially in the longer fur or the undercoat. Untamed mats can cause discomfort and potential skin issues. Moreover, brushing isn't just about keeping the coat clean. It's also about skin health. Brushing massages the skin, stimulates natural oil production, and helps distribute those oils for a healthy, glossy coat. Plus, a well-brushed German Shepherd is a sight to behold. Fluffy and glossy. And let's not forget the bonding. Establishing a positive grooming routine can turn brushing sessions into enjoyable bonding time. Now that you understand why brushing is essential, let's delve into the tools you'll need and the proper brushing techniques. A good brushing routine starts with the right tools. Every craftsman knows that the right tool makes all the difference. The same applies to grooming your German Shepherd. There are four primary tools you should have in your grooming toolbox. First up, the undercoat rake. This tool is a must-have for German Shepherds. Their thick double coat can get matted and tangled, especially the dense undercoat. The undercoat rake is designed to penetrate deep into the coat, removing loose undercoat hair without damaging the top coat. It's like a mini rake for your dog's fur, helping to keep it fluffy and healthy. Next, we have the slicker brush. Now, this is a versatile tool. Its fine, short wires close together make it perfect for removing loose hair and detangling. It's also great for smoothing the fur after you've used the undercoat rake, giving your German Shepherd that sleek, glossy look. The third tool in your arsenal should be the shedding blade. During shedding seasons, which are usually in the spring and fall, your German Shepherd will lose a significant amount of hair. The shedding blade is your go-to tool during these periods. Its tightly spaced teeth can remove larger amounts of dead undercoat, helping you to keep shedding under control. Lastly, we have the grooming comb. This is your finishing tool. It's excellent for finding any hidden mats or tangles that the other brushes may have missed. A few strokes with the grooming comb, and you'll have a clean, smooth coat that's ready for anything. So there you have it. The four must-have tools for grooming your German Shepherd. The undercoat rake, slicker brush, shedding blade and grooming comb. Each one has its own unique purpose and together they make a formidable team against shedding and matting. Equipped with these tools, you're ready to start brushing. But how often should you brush your German Shepherd? Brushing frequency and technique are key to maintaining your German Shepherd's coat. It's not just about keeping your pooch looking sharp, but also about their overall health and well-being. So let's delve into these two crucial aspects of grooming. The first topic on our list is frequency. How often should you brush your German Shepherd? The answer depends on a few factors, including the time of year and your dog's individual coat type. However, as a general rule of thumb, brushing at least two to three times a week is a must for routine care. This helps keep shedding under control, prevents matting, and promotes a healthy, shiny coat. Now, if your German Shepherd is a notorious shedder, or if it's shedding season, usually during spring and fall, you might need to up your brushing game. During these periods, daily brushing might be necessary to keep your home from being overrun by dog hair. Remember, a little bit of effort each day can save you a lot of cleaning time down the line. Now, let's move on to technique. Brushing your dog might seem like a straightforward task, but there's a right and a wrong way to do it. The first rule of thumb is to always be gentle. Nobody likes their hair being yanked out and your German Shepherd is no different. Always work with the direction of hair growth and use long, light strokes to avoid irritating the skin. The second rule of thumb is to be thorough. Brush all the way down to the base of the coat, ensuring you're reaching the undercoat. 
This is where most of the shedding occurs, so it's vital to give it some attention. And don't forget about those often neglected areas like the belly, thighs, behind the ears and tail. These spots are prone to matting and need your attention just as much as the rest of the coat. Now you might be wondering, what if my pup doesn't like to be brushed? Well, the trick is to make it a positive experience. Use lots of praise and treats and keep your first few sessions short and sweet. Gradually increase the duration as your pup gets used to the process. This way, brushing can become a bonding activity that both you and your German Shepherd look forward to. Remember, every dog is different, and what works for one might not work for another. It's all about getting to know your dog, understanding their needs, and tailoring your grooming routine accordingly. With the right technique, you can make brushing an enjoyable routine for your dog. But what about puppies or dogs with sensitive skin? Stay tuned as we delve into these special considerations in the next segment. Certain factors require special consideration when brushing your German Shepherd. When it comes to puppies, starting early is key. German Shepherd puppies may not have their full double coats yet, but this is the perfect time to introduce them to the brushing routine. Begin with shorter, more frequent sessions, perhaps only a few minutes each day. This not only helps to keep their growing coat in check, but more importantly, it teaches them that grooming is a normal and enjoyable part of their life. Make sure to use softer brushes at this stage to avoid any discomfort. Remember, the goal is to make these sessions a positive experience. Little treats and lots of praises can go a long way in forming good grooming habits. As your German Shepherd grows, you may notice certain areas are more sensitive than others. This could be the belly, behind the ears or the tail area. It's crucial to pay attention to your dog's reactions when you brush these areas. If they seem uncomfortable or show signs of distress, it's time to adapt your brushing technique. Try using a softer brush or reducing the pressure you apply. If that doesn't work, a visit to the vet might be necessary to rule out any underlying skin conditions. It's also worth noting that your German Shepherd's brushing needs may change with time. Factors such as age, health and climate can affect their coat condition. An older dog might have a thinner coat that requires more gentle care, while a dog living in a colder climate might have a denser undercoat that needs more frequent brushing. Lastly, always remember that brushing is more than just a grooming routine. It's a bonding session between you and your German Shepherd. It's a chance to check for any irregularities like lumps, ticks or skin issues. It's a moment of mutual trust and care. By understanding and accommodating these special considerations, you can ensure a positive grooming experience for your German Shepherd. Brushing your German Shepherd may seem daunting, but with the right tools, technique and understanding, it can become a pleasant routine. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's quickly revisit the key points. German Shepherds with their magnificent double coats are notorious shedders, but regular brushing can significantly minimize the hair fall around your home. More than just a means of shedding management, brushing is crucial for preventing mats and tangles, particularly in the undercoat or longer fur. Untamed mats not only disrupt the aesthetic of your German Shepherd's coat, but they can also cause discomfort and potential skin issues. Brushing isn't all about the coat, though. It also stimulates the skin, encouraging the production of natural oils and aiding their distribution for a healthier coat. Plus, a well-brushed German Shepherd sports a glossy, fluffy coat that's sure to turn heads. And let's not forget the bonding aspect. Brushing sessions can become a cherished routine, strengthening the bond between you and your furry friend. To make the most of your brushing sessions, equip yourself with the right tools. An undercoat rake, a slicker brush, a shedding blade and a grooming comb are all essential for maintaining your German Shepherd's coat. Remember, brushing isn't a once-in-a-blue-moon activity. It requires consistency. Aim for at least two to three times a week. And during shedding seasons, daily brushing might be necessary. The technique is also key. Be gentle, work with the direction of hair growth and be thorough. Don't neglect areas like the belly, thighs, behind the ears and tail. And finally, consider the special needs of your dog. Puppies need early introduction to grooming to form good habits and some areas might require extra care due to sensitivity. 
Thank you for watching. Remember, regular brushing is not just about maintaining your German Shepherd's beautiful coat. It's also a wonderful way to bond with your furry friend. You can find more information on my blog, belugsd.com. Thank you for watching the videos, and please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.